Ang topic natin ngayon ay Kirchhoff's Laws. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed sa Kirchhoff's Laws, alamin muna natin kung ano ang definition ng nodes, branches, and loops. Ang mga element natin sa circuit, such as voltage and current source, or yung mga loads natin like resistors, they represent a branch. These branches are interconnected or connected, may be interconnected or connected in a point, especially when they are connected in a parallel circuit. Ang tawag natin sa point na yon ay node. Ang loop naman is any closed path in a circuit. We have a fundamental theorem of not network topology, which states that the number of branches B is equal to the sum of loop L plus node N minus 1. Alamin natin kung ano ibig sabihin ng, ng mga ito. Dito sa ating circuit, so we have to determine kung ilan number ang bra ilan merong branches meron tayo, nodes and loops. So tandaan natin kung ano yung mga definition natin kanina. So ilan ba yung branches? As we can see, hand uh, as definition kanina, so basta meron tayong element, okay, sa isang wire, so that is considered a branch. So this is uh, a 10 volt source element okay 1 and we have loads 5 2 and 3 ohm resistor so tatlo na yan and dito sa last uh, wires natin or yung parallel side ng circuit natin we have 2 ampere source so we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 branches so mako mapapansin niyo dito sa mga part na to we have four also here pero wala naman tayong element they are not considered as branch so yung mga considered natin na branch lang ay yung merong mga included na elements such as voltage or current source or yung mga loads natin now how about number of nodes okay Kapag nagdetermine tayo ng number of nodes, it is helpful kung i-imagine natin how we would connect that circuit. For example, ito. So, kung mapapasin nyo, we have a source and then from this source, magko-connect tayo ng 5 ohm na resistor. Okay? So, we have a source. Okay? Tapos magdudugtong tayo dito ng 5 ohm resistor. So, ito siya. We have a source. Dugtong tayo. Okay? Kukonnect tayo ng wire. Okay? from dun sa ating source and then dun sa ating 5 ohm resistor. Okay, ito na yun. Ito na yung ating uh, node. Ayan. Ayan. 1. So, yan. Tapos, suktong tayo. And then, from this point, from this point, okay, mag-create tayo or mag-connect tayo ng parallel branches. So, from this point, isang 2 ohms. Tapos, ito, connect mo din yan dyan. And then, isa pa para dun sa ating 2 ampere source. So, we have uh, Another node, okay, yung kanina is, let's say this is A, yung kanina, let's say this is B. Kinonect natin yung tatlong branches na merong mga loads and isang current source. And then lahat ng to ay connected sa iisang uh, ground, common point or yung ating ground. So we have 1, 2, and 3. So gaya dito sa figure, so from the source, connect tayo ng 5 ohm resistor from a 5 ohm resistor connect tayo ng tatlong parallel na branches and lahat sila ay connected sa isang common point or ng ating ground. So we have 3. Okay, we have 3 nodes. Next, how about loop? So sa loop naman madali lang, basta we have any closed path, we can create a loop. So this is a clockwise loop, 1, 2 and 3. So we have 3 loops. Um you can also create counterclockwise loop depende kung anong gusto nyo. Mamaya, we will discuss that on Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now, if you have uh, five branches, okay, we have three loops and three nodes, okay? If we will verify your fundamental theorem ng network of topology, so 3 plus 3 is 6, okay, we have three nodes kanina, three loops ngayon, minus 1 is 5, okay? Now, Pwede na tayong mag-proceed sa Kirchhoff's loss. We have actually two loss, okay? Dito sa Kirchhoff's loss natin. We have the KCL or yung tawag natin ay Kirchhoff's current law. And yung isa naman is yung KVL which is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Dito sa Kirchhoff's current law, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is, take note, is current. Puro mga current yung makikita natin variable sa ating magagawang equation. And yung next na kailangan natin tandaan ay meron tayong reference 
or yung magiging guide natin para makapag-create tayo ng equation ng KCL, which is yung node. Kaya kailangan nating malaman what is the node. So, node din yung a point kung saan connected yung mga branches natin, like in the figure, ito yon. So, KCL states that the algebraic sum of, take note, currents ang pinag-uusapan, entering a node or a closed boundary is equal to a zero. It is represented as the summation of I sub N, okay, kung ilang mga current meron sa circuit natin, this is from 1 to N, summation ng mga yun is equal to zero. Okay, so since we are aware na ang current ay may direction, meron siyang positive or negative, let us say na yung mga entering dito sa node natin ay positive, yung mga leaving ay negative. So if we will get the sum of all the current here, so that is to be equate to zero. Okay, let's start. So entering si I1, so that is positive. And then leaving si I2, that is negative. And then entering si I sub 3, that is positive. I4 is also entering. I5 is also, I, I mean, I5 is leaving. So that is negative. And to be equate to zero according to KCL. And then you arrange the equation. Okay, pwede mong ilagay lahat ng positive sa kabilang side and lahat ng side, negative side. Kabilang side. Okay, so this is your KCL equation. So pwede natin gamitin to kapag mag-a-analyze tayo ng circuit. Next, this is another example wherein meron tayong uh, parallel connected mga current sources. Tapos, ito si I total. Okay? So, si I total, kung tutuntunin natin, downward siya. Okay? Kailangan kasi is ma-identify natin yung tamang direction ng mga current para alam natin which is positive and negative. And then, identify natin what is the common point. Okay? So, ito yon. Parang kamukha lang ito nung kanina. So, ito si I total. Tapos, nakadugtong dito si I sub 1. And then, dugtong uli si I sub 2. And then, dugtong uli si I sub 3. So, pwede na tayong mag-apply ng Kirchhoff's law. Okay? Lahat ng towards, okay? Papunta sa node na to, positive. So, that is I1 plus I3. Okay? So, pwede kong i-write. Okay? Or... Actually, ito na yung madi-derive natin. Pero sige, rewrite na natin. So, negative si I total. Si I1 is positive. And then, si I2 is negative. And then, si I3 is positive. And then, according to Kirchhoff's law, equate to 0. So, we arrange the equation. Okay, so let's say itong positive. Ayan, may iwan sila. And then, itong negative, lalagay mo sa kabila. So, magiging positive sila. If you want to represent, okay? Actually, we can represent this circuit into an equivalent circuit. In which case, na i-compress natin siya or kukunin natin yung total. So, pwede natin kunin ngayon yung total current flowing on the system. Which is, if we arrange our derived equation, KCL equation, Okay, in terms of I total, okay, so lilipat lang natin si I sub 2. So, I1 minus I2 plus I3. So, eto na. I-represent mo na lang siya as one current source. Okay, paano natin nalaman kung upward or downward siya? Um, actually, that depends on kung anong makuha nating value. Sasabihin naman niya, if that is positive, that is upward. If that is negative, that is downward. Okay, now... How about Kirchhoff's voltage law? First thing first, this is in an equation of voltages sa isang circuit. Okay? And ang reference naman natin dito ay loop. By the way, maalala ko, sa Kirchhoff's current law, madalas applicable siya sa mga parallel circuits. Okay? Kasi doon tayo nagkakaroon ng mga nodes at mag magkakaroon ng iba-ibang value of current. We will discuss that on parallel circuits. While sa Kirchhoff's voltage law, madalas siyang gamitin, of course, sa mga series circuit kasi dun, uh, meron tayong mga varying amount of voltage drop, voltage drop, and mga sources. Okay. Pero hindi ko sinasabing wala, hindi tayo makakapag-create ng KVL sa mga parallel circuits. Okay. First thing first, okay, okay, what is KVL? It states that the algebraic sum of all voltages around the closed loop is equal to zero. So, kanina current, now is voltage. So, summation of V sub M, so correction, this is V sub M, wherein V sub, wherein M is from 1 to M, that is to be equivalent to 
zero. So first, ang gagawin mo is if you have a given circuit like this, this is a series circuit with two voltage source and meron kang tatlong load, is to create a loop. It's either clockwise or counterclockwise, kung anong mas gusto mo. Either way, the algebraic sum of the voltages here in the circuit is still zero. Pero mas madalas, okay, sa course natin, uh, mas madali kung iisa na lang gagamitin natin, which is clockwise. Okay, afterwards is to note, okay, pwede kasi i-reward natin to, yung KVL, as sum of voltage drop is equal to sum of voltage rise. Ibig sabihin, uh, we can take positive sa mga voltage rise, we can take negative sa mga voltage drop. Okay? Or, para mas madali, kung ano na lang yung polarity, okay, yung first polarity, as you go through the loop, yun na yung magiging sign natin. Like for example, in this figure, so negative V sub 1, okay, and then plus V sub 2, para sa mga voltage drop natin, for, uh, let's say, this is resistor 2 and this is resistor 3, okay? Kasi ang, kung the guide, ang magiging guide natin ay yung loop, so yung first terminal pa, ito negative, ito positive, ito positive, and then sa source natin dito sa V sub 4, um, first terminal natin is negative piece of negative, so negative piece of 4 and then dito, to, dito sa isang load natin, so positive and then equate to 0 so we arrange, if you arrange the equation, ito yung magiging KVL mo okay this is another example, so we have here three sources, we have V sub 1, V sub 2, V sub 3. And take note, meron po tayong V sub AB. This is an open circuit voltage. Okay? Meron yan. So, if you will create a loop, okay, create tayo ng loop dito. Ayan. Okay? So, VAB is positive. Okay? Ay, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry. VAB is negative. Hindi ko nasundan. Oops. Okay, ayan. Negative terminal tayo. Negative VAB. And then, positive V1. Positive si V2. Okay? And then, negative V sub 3. And then, equate to 0. Again, we can uh, reduce this uh, circuit into a single source circuit like this. Okay? So, in terms of VAB, kung i-arrange natin, that is V1 plus V2 minus V sub 3. So, kung nakikita nyo, naglagay pa siya ng another variable to represent the total which is V sub S. But V sub S, as you can see in the figure, is also equal to VAB. Kahit tanggalin na to, we can write that as VAB is equal to V1 plus V2 minus V3. Okay.